All right, fam, so look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. Now, this video is kind of interesting, by, just by the title, okay? Just by the title alone. It said, Machine Gun Kelly can't help you, Jesus can. Now, first of all, hold on. Now, Machine Gun Kelly, if you don't know him, I believe, I, dang, what type of music did he make? I kind of forget. I don't know if he was in, like, kind of the rock field. I, I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? I don't even really listen to the Machine Gun Kelly. If you peep, my whole channel was based off, like, politics now. Like, I don't even listen to, like, music no more, because that's time. But anyways... We're gonna go ahead and uh, hop into the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. What is y'all doing? You can follow your boy on IG because it's free. It's free. That's the only thing you get free in life. It's following your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Oh, to Jesus I surrender. Oh, to Him I freely give. Sorry, we're talking about um, how God is this. Accepting everybody? I never said that. Uh, no, no, no. Just say. I never said that. Don't, don't, don't put words in my mouth. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. I never said that. Hey, hey. What's God's reason about tattoos? What's going on with that one? Oh, uh, what, what, what? Are you? Are you? No, 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 first of all, no, no. let me ask you a question. Just say everything about the Bible about people like enjoying. Tell me, tell me what God says about tattoos. No. What happened? Tell me, tell me what God says about tattoos. You're I know. From okay, go ahead. You're conveniently leaving the part out that makes you look yeah. bad. You know what God says about tattoos? What's He say about tattoos? I'm sorry, what's on your arm here? Okay, so what, tell me what he says. The thing is, you're making you're making a plan. What does he say about tattoos? You're leaving the story about tattoos. What does he say about tattoos? You tell me. No, wait, you, you, you said that God says something about tattoos, so tell me what he says. When you leave markings on your body. And Amen, that's right. He doesn't like it. What are you happening? So, so, so does God, am I, for, am I forgiven for this? Have I repented and am I forgiven? Now, let me ask you the same question. Have you repented of your sins? So, so are you forgiven for your sins? Well, yes, I go to church occasionally. Okay, going to church, it does, doesn't mean you're forgiven. Uh, for, forgiven, the Bible says a humble and contrite heart, God will not despise. So just like I'm forgiven for getting tattoos because I said, Lord, please forgive me for getting these tattoos, I'm forgiven, and 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 it's and it's erased. Now, this first of all, I want to say this. Now, first of all, if you don't know, I I have two I have two arms full of tattoos, and I have people just like her come. Just shut your man, shut up. Okay, first of all, let me tell you something. When you read the Bible, you need to read the Bible in context. Okay, that's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Just how you read everything else in context, you try to figure out the truth and all that. Yeah, you read all that in context too. Yeah, you need to read the Bible in context too. Okay, because it's all about reading the Bible in context. You need to look at who was God talking to in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I say that, I'm not saying pick and choose what scripture to apply to your life. No, I'm not saying that at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that at all. We should apply all the scriptures to our life. But again, there's a lot of things in the Bible where uh, don't mix don't mix the same fabrics. You know what I'm saying? Don't lay with your wife on her cycle. Everything like that is in Leviticus also. But you have to understand who was that speaking to. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you also got to realize that we are in a new covenant with Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's the new covenant right there. You feel me? So you can still live in the old covenant and say this and that, but then I better not see you laying with your wife on her period. I better not seeing you missing fabrics. I better not seeing you cutting your hair because Leviticus all states that too. And this is why I kind of fade away from the whole Christianity thing because it seems like, uh, <laughs> it seems like Christians, like I, I fade away from religion. I'm going to say that. I, now, now I'm, I'm, at heart, obviously I'm still like diehard Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ, believe in uh, God, believe in the Bible. Well, yes, but religion wise, like claiming myself as a Christian, I kind of push back from that, y'all. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's so many Christians out here who who are hypocrites. There's so many Christians out here who, you know what I'm saying? They, they preach the word, do things like that, but they don't do it out of love. Not saying this guy is not doing it out of love, but I'm just stating that. That's just why I kind of pushed away from religion. It had nothing to do with what I just said right now, but I'm, I just want to put that out there. Anyways. Same thing can happen to you. You can ask God for forgiveness and your sins can be erased. That's the whole point of us coming here today. We're saying God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes him will not perish but have everlasting life. And all sin is forgiven through Christ Jesus. Thank you for helping me making my point through my tattoos. So, so have I got, did I get my tattoos when I was a Christian? No. I got them before I was a Christian, but this, my tattoos represent a sinful life. A sinful life that I have been forgiven of because of Christ Jesus. The same thing that you could be forgiven, the same thing you could be forgiven, and the same thing everyone could be forgiven of your sins. And that's why ATC says I because you know there's people that are guilty. There's people thinking that I've messed up so much that I can't be forgiven. God says that he forgives everyone. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Listen, are you listening? The Bible says every- Uh, yeah, he did say it, bro. You're yelling, did he say it? Literally in the Bible, it says that he forgives you for your sins. 
Oh, Lord. One who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's what the Bible says. You need to calm down. You, you need some sort of, you need to chill. Switch the decaf or something. Maybe you need to drink some milk. I don't know why you're so upset. <laughs> so you believe that God is all powerful, correct? Absolutely. So that his message would reach us without your help. Regardless of all these people, he could reach us. God's not yours. How? Tell me how. If anything, you're through us, you're through music Why are you here? If, if the, why are you here? So this is what the Bible says. The Bible says, how will they know about Jesus unless a preacher is sent? Amen. So God chose the preaching of the word to get his message out. He could have he could have chose any other way, but he did. But he's a relational God. So God pur uh, purposely sends people out into the world so we can relate. So so God is a relational God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are are, are relational. Uh, God's a relational being. That's why the Bible says God in love. So if, if God wants to reach us, reach us all individually, it'd almost be like now because we have um, t um, phones and we have internet. We're not as, um, we're not as um, a personable as we used to be back in the day because everyone is kind of like their own God looking for likes and looking for uh, affirmation online when, when really we should just be interacting with each other because that's true love that's that's true uh, personage it's when, when two people can interact so God purposely chose to preach in the gospel so we can interact so this interaction could happen Amen. this is why a personal relationship with God comes into play because like if you say God is all powerful isn't that, that he can reach us without you know what I'm saying but again are you even trying to seek that relationship with God. Are you even trying to seek his presence? No, it don't seem like you're trying to seek his presence. Because if you were trying to seek his presence, God could use you. He could use you to speak to another person too. That's what y'all fail to realize. Y'all all want to say this and that is man-made. This and that is man-made. Do you not realize that everything on this earth is pretty much man-made? You know what I'm saying? Everything pretty much is man-made. Religion, that's man-made. Well, how many times did the Bible even speak on Christian <clears throat> and Christianity? How many times did the Bible even speak on Christianity? It doesn't speak on that a lot. It's all, man, man, we made a religion so that we can truly focus on God and Jesus Christ. That's the well was a religion base. But like, like I said, if you were seeking God's presence, you know what I'm saying? God would be using you also. But you don't see God's presence. So for the people that he want to get saved, because God, he, he, he's trying to get everybody a chance to repent. Because best believe this world can crash right now. The world can end right now. Jesus Christ can come back right now at this given second. As I'm speaking, the video probably won't even get out. It won't get out. If Jesus Christ come back right now. So it literally you have to seek his presence in order to have that true relationship with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he will use you. But since you're not seeking his presence, he sent people out like him. He sent people out like me. He sent people out like other different pastors. But you also got to have discernment on which pastors to follow and which pastors not to follow. But don't follow man, follow God. That's the key to it. But you also got to have discernment on which pastors are preaching the word, which are false prophets, which are false this, which are false that. You got to have that discernment. In order to have that discernment, you got to have a relationship with God. It all comes down to that, man. I'm telling y'all the truth. But, hey, everybody has their own different beliefs. If you believe it, you believe it. If you don't, you don't. Hey, it is what it is. Okay, but here's the thing. If God's sending me a message, and he wants me to accept it. Here's the thing. I don't think I would ever get angry from that message. I would never get insulted from that message. I'm not trying to fight my sins or anything like that. I'm trying to fight the pain inside me and get rid of it. Amen. So, but the pain comes from sin. But here's the thing. All these people are coming around me and all these people feel a way. So how is your message healthy to me? Because if I'm upset, if I'm angry, that's taking energy from me. That's upsetting. Because I'm teaching you. How, so, I'm, so, amen. That's a, that's a beautiful question. So, I'm teaching you the remedy. So, the thing is, you can cut off the branches. So, so I got a lot of pain too, right? But what's the root of my pain? The root of my pain is sin. And so, what sin is at the root of my pain? Like, it's it's, it's someone hurt me. Someone, uh, maybe my mom or dad smoked crack, and so now I'm broken. Or maybe my, my children, my, my wife took my children away, so now I'm broken. So, there's a source of the Bible says that God gives us the peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, Thank you, God bless you. My, my wife taking my kids away, or, or, or my mom and dad smoking crack, um, that's from sin. So, so, the, so the only way that I can fix that is to, only way, only way I can fix that problem is getting to the root of the problem, and the root of the problem is sin. So that's what, that's what Christ, God, God teaches us. He says, we put God in our heart, right? And he heals us from the inside out. He heals us from the inside out. So if, I, if you have a broken heart, I have a broken heart too. That, I mean, that's why I accept Christ. And it, it would be, I think it would be selfish of me if, if I found out a way to live my life in, in peace, even with all the pain that I have and not share with others. And that's why we're That's why it's called good news. But here's the thing. All these people here are here because there's something here that heals our pain. So you, even though you say, yeah, he's satanic, this, and that's your perception. That's not our perception. Temporary. As soon as you leave here, um, as soon as you leave here, you're gonna have the same problem. After you finish rocking out and listening to your music on your way home, you're gonna have to have the same pain. Yeah. You're gonna have to have. You're gonna have to. Have, you're gonna have to have the same struggles. Literally, literally, the things that these people run to, 
a little, like you said, it's all temporary pain. The things that these people run to, when you run to weed, that's all temporary pain because after you're done smoking the weed, you're still going to have, you still going to feel the same. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this, when you come to God and things like that and you actually give your life fully to Christ and you actually accept Christ into your heart and you give up everything, you confess, you give up everything, you repent from your sins, I promise you there's going to be a level of peace on you. You know what I'm saying? Even when somebody come at you wrong. It gonna be like you just ready to fight and bug up. It's like it's a lot of people that came at me wrong, but it's been times where it's like whew, peace. You know what I'm saying? But best believe if I'm still in the world and you know I'm listening to all this crazy music, all I'm speaking to my spirit, nothing but negativity. I'm a one to bug up and you know hit him with a. You feel me? Like easy. But again, now that I'm with Christ, now that Christ is in me and I have the Holy Spirit within me, and now it's like you come at me the wrong way, things like that. Peace. Peace. God is peace. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell people you need to come to Christ. And don't just read the Bible and stop at Genesis and think that, oh, this is all man-made. How far did you even get into the Bible to figure out that, oh, man, this is all man-made? I mean, because obviously, even in some of the beginning of the stories, they say, this is written by Paul. This is written by this. This, I mean, seriously, but God uses those people so that they can, because just with even with George Washington, we only know about George Washington from the history books and from the things that we done read on the internet. We don't know if half of that stuff is true, half of that stuff is lies. It's the same thing with the Bible. We just going off what these apostles, what these disciples done, they seen, what these people done seen Jesus do, what these people done, you know, heard Jesus say, and they write it down. That's why we truly believe in that because you can't believe in God but not believe in the word. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that's, that just doesn't work because. God is the word. It said that in the Bible. You people need to I'm tell you. I'm t it, it, it gets deep. It gets deep. But again, you have to do the research for yourself. You can't just go off what the internet say. You can't go off what the media say. You have to do that research for yourself. I'm telling you. How do you, how, so the thing is, it's just like doing drugs. It's just like doing drugs. I used to smoke a whole bunch of weed to, 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 get, to, to get rid of pain, right? But the thing is, when the, when the high went away, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still full of pain. That's why, that's why we need someone that can eradicate the pain or, or, or change that negative energy into positive energy. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. Okay, but here's the thing, like, that's true, but here's the thing, he's not the first rapper to ever talk about drugs, he's not the first rapper to think. And I, I understand that to you it's like poison, you shouldn't mention that, but that's his truth. He's gone through the darkness and he's trying to go through the light, that's his, and he's explaining that struggle to us. Has he found, has he found a way to heal himself yet? He's working on the road. So how can he heal you? And that's, that's the point I'm making. This is all, this is all a temporary fix. He, you know why he does so much drugs? Wait, yeah, you know why he does drugs? Because he's hurt too. Do you know why he drinks a lot? Because he's hurt too. So, so all this, all this is, is a distraction from our inner pain. This comes from the assumption that you think that I look at him like he's my God. I don't look at him like that. You said that. You, you, I don't, I'm not saying he's your God, but you're saying um, he, through his message, he, he, um, is. A lot, but he's not the only one that inspired me. GP inspires me. Tupac inspires me. A lot of people inspire me. Inspire you to do what? Inspires me to be a better version of who I was yesterday. Well, how how does how does this person inspire you to be a better person? Tell me something good about this person. Because what you're saying about Machine Gun Kelly it sounds inaccurate to us. That's why you're getting so much anger. Well, he's full of sin. That's true. Amen. But but. Amen. So how do we eradicate sin? That goes back to my original point. How do we eradicate sin? And how do we get this, the peace that surpasses all understanding? The Bible teaches us that Jesus gives us peace that surpasses all understanding. How do we eradicate the pain? How do we deal with this pain without drugs, without alcohol, without distractions? How do we get to the root of the problem? Because the Bible says this. If you look, the Bible says that if you look at a woman with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. So what, what God is saying that these things that, that we deal with are already in our heart. And a human being can't fix the heart. Only God can fix the heart. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, bro, I respect I respect when pastors go out there and preach the word, you know what I'm saying? There's ways to do it, but again, I will say this. Before you, you know, before you try to, you know, be, I don't know if he know Machine Gun Kelly or not. Like, me personally, I don't listen to his music because I have listed his music. But before you go on there and say that he's this and say he's that, I say, recommend, I would like, listen to a song and obviously you can tell about the music and through his actions if this man is, you know what I'm saying? We all feel with sin. We all sin a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's just the difference between people that follow Christ is that we're not dead into our sin. But that's the only thing I will say, you know what I'm saying? But again, no other human being can fix the wounds that, you know, life has created into you or like the past trauma has created within you nobody no other human being can ever fix that you can be inspired by a person because again 
it's a lot of people who inspire me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who inspire me. For example, it's a lot of YouTubers out there who's bigger than me, but they inspire me to keep going even when the views may be low, even when even when uh, I may not get that much support, but they inspire me to keep going and keep going and uh, just keep grinding. That you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's that's the type of insp uh, inspiration that I get from other YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you could be inspired because my mother, she inspired me. You know what I'm saying? She inspired me to just keep going at it, keep trying my best, keep working hard because I seen where she came from and I see where she's at. You know what I'm saying? And then she gave her life to Christ. So I see now her giving her life to Christ, it, it puts something in her. Now she's well over blessed. You feel me? So that's just how I look at things. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Look, I'm trying to drag into different aspects of reactions and things like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.